Hello everybody, Josh Chihuahua back here again with another video, and I'm here with another DC Talk video, and I'm here to talk all things DC TV. Yes, last time I talked about DC stuff, it was towards the Superman character joining Supergirl Season 2. Yes, when Supergirl comes back after its move to CW on Season 2, the first two episodes of that season will feature the character of Superman. And in my previous video, I gave you my personal thoughts on that, uh, my personal thoughts on the possibility of other characters joining the CW post-Superman, and of course, who should play Superman. Now, I gave my personal thoughts that it should really be Tom Welling. That was kind of like my personal feeling, and I'm pretty sure a lot of others' personal feelings on who should be Superman on Supergirl. Now, granted, I understand the logistics of how things could not end up that way, but at the end of the day, that's kind of like what I really wanted. And of course, today, we got official confirmation by Greg Berlanti and Andrew Kreisberg over at DC Comics as to who will be donning the new red and blue tights. And that's, of course, going to be Teen Wolf actor Tyler Hochman, if I'm saying his name correctly and of course he's going to be the Superman for Supergirl for the first two episodes and I'm pretty sure if you know the embargo doesn't you know lift anytime soon and people love him and you know the creators and writers can find a way to use him more I'm pretty sure we'll see him more than likely in future episodes of Supergirl and maybe some CW crossovers but in the long run when I first heard this news I was kind of split right down the middle the left half of me was really like He's not Tom Welling, and that really annoys me. Th granted, I can't really hide that. It really bugs me that Tom Welling is going to come back and play Superman. I feel like it would have been a superior route for DC to go. I mean, like, he's a legacy actor. He fucking, you know, portrayed the character for so many years. I mean, like, for an, over a decade, he played the character of Clark Kent slash Superman. I mean, he's the longest running actor who's portrayed Superman in live action. And I feel like it would have just been... Just a great moment and a great payoff for fans who love Smallville, grew up with it, and watched for so many years this character, this actor, betray one version of the character up until the finale that we didn't really ever get the true payoff of him really being Superman. And that's something that I really wish CW and DC and Greg Berlanti and all those other people over there could have took into consideration. But in the long run, when I did make my previous video, I did state that more than likely, if they weren't going with the Tom Welling round, they would go with another actor who's portrayed Superman in the past, or just get, you know, a random, good-looking, handsome actor who's in the waiting rooms of the freaking CW network. So, and that's kind of like what they did. I mean, Tyler Hoechlin, he's not the number one guy I would go to, but he does fit the teen drama TV network program casting route that they go for. So it makes sense. Now on the right side of me when it goes towards and my personal opinion on him and Superman, first off Tyler Hoechman, there's not really much I can say about him. All I can really judge him on is his appearance because him as an actor I can't really say that much on because I don't really know that much about him as an actor. Yes he's done a lot of things. He's been around uh, he has a pretty extensive filmography in both movies and TV shows. He was in Rhodes Perdition, Hall Pass. He's obviously on Teen Wolf. And he was on Seventh Heaven, which was ironically a show I watched back in the day. Then again, that was back before I realized that Dad was a petter ass. But that, that's in the past or in, in the present, rather. Uh, regardless of any of that, he was in that kind of stuff. But even though he's been in stuff that I've heard of and know the names towards, he's never left a mark acting-wise and performance-wise that's made me as a viewer be like, you know what, that guy can go places. He can be a man of steel. Not really. That's not his... He's not the go-to guy. And also, on the flip side to that, I still, as a fanboy inside, really want Tom Welling to be Superman. But that, in the past. Moving forward, Tyler Hoechman... I think the best way I can go with this is just judging him on his appearance, which I know is a bad thing to do. It's ignorant. And overall, he's not really the go-to guy I want really for Superman. I feel like he's a little too obvious of a choice, but then again, he's also a very interesting choice. The best way I can put it is that when it pertains to him being cast as Superman, I'm on the fence, but I'm also very intrigued. And the reason I say that is his appearance. He doesn't have the obvious physical features of what you think Superman in live action would be like we've had in the movies and he has very distinct uh, European ethnic features that really go into play with like uh, other interpretations of Superman like Just League Mortal if you go back and check out what 
George Miller was planning to do with Justice League Mortal, he cast DJ Katrona as Superman, and that was a very interesting choice because he's not like a Henry Cavill, Christopher Reeve look-alike. He's not, he doesn't have those kind of features. He has more of a European-esque kind of ethnic features, which I think is a very interesting approach that CW and DC is going out in this turnaround for Superman, and it's not a terrible choice. It's just a very interesting choice. And also, if there's anything else I can really nitpick towards Tyler Holtzman being cast as Superman is really his age. The thing that really bothers me about this casting is not really his appearance or the fact that he's not Tom Welling. You can throw that aside as a DC fanboy and look at it as a realist and just say the number one thing that could really annoy anybody is his performance, what it's going to be like, and overall, how is he going to fit in this universe? And the big thing that I take away from this is his age. Now, if you go and check out season one of Supergirl, which, you know, is, is definitely a duty if you really are not in terms with that kind of show like myself, he is an established Superman. Spoilers, when Kara goes to Earth, he's already established as Superman. He's like in his early 20s, he's grown up. And in the span of the years of her becoming Supergirl in season one, he's already been Superman for a long stretch of time. So when I thought of an actor being chosen, I would have liked a Tom Welling because he fits the right age group. He should be like in his early to mid 30s, if you will, but still has a very good physical nature and very handsome and still has very young features. However, Tyler is ironically enough the same age as Melissa Benoist from Supergirl. Melissa Benoist, if I'm not mistaken, she's about age 27 in real life, and Tyler is age 28. They're the same fucking age. There's only a year difference. So why get an actor who's the same fucking age? Is this like, is there going to be some kind of weird timeline thing for his character, or is he like the real Superman? Granted, I understand on a logistical stance, casting-wise, it's like, it's a teen drama, it's a teen network, of course, Casting directors are going to get the youngest, handsomest actors to, or beautiful actors, the beautiful people, if you will, to get and fit these roles. But I really would have wanted more of a 30s kind of a Superman, considering it makes sense for a fucking prior established Superman in this universe. And I feel like Supergirl Season 2 is kind of going the different route. Granted, once again, Greg Berlanti and Andrew Kreisberg or anybody over at CW haven't really clarified Superman's role in Supergirl as of now with this casting. All we know is that it's Tyler Hoechlin playing Superman and he will be featured in the first two episodes of Supergirl Season 2. That's pretty much all we know. So is he going to fight? Is it a prequel? Is it like a flashback? Is this real-time Superman? Is he going to be in the suit? Is he just going to be Clark Kent? You know, like, what's the extent of what Superman's going to be? That's kind of like the best thing I can state at this point. But overall, he's not Tom Welling, which really annoys me. But he, see, he kind of looks the part, and I'm pretty sure he can possibly act the part if he's been around this long. So I'm definitely up for it. And all I can really say is that, uh, like I stated previously, I'm on the fence, but I'm definitely intrigued. I just, I just really hope CW doesn't fuck us over on this front. That's all I can really say. And Tyler Hoechlin, I hope he does a great job as Superman. And I just wish they could have gone with an older actor. Once again, why couldn't they just get Tom Welling? I feel like that just would have been a superior route. But with that being said and done, comment below. Let me know what your personal thoughts on Tyler Hoechlin being officially cast as Superman for Supergirl Season 2. And if he does great, well then, that's awesome. Hopefully they bring him back for future episodes. We just have to wait and see once the fall comes and we get Season 2 of Supergirl. But let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. But that being said and done, shameless plug time. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys enjoyed. And this has been Josh12.